you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Each year, Jesus' parents went to Jerusalem for the feast to pass over. And when he was 12 years old, they went up according to festival custom. After they have completed its day as they were returning, the boy Jesus remained behind in Jerusalem. But his parents did not know it, thinking that he was in the caravan. They journeyed for a day and looked for him among their relatives and acquaintances, but not finding him. They returned to Jerusalem to look for him. After three days, they found him in the temple, sitting in the midst of the teachers, listening to them and asking them questions. And all who heard him were astounded and his understanding and his answers. When his parents saw him, they were astonished. And his mother said to him, Son, why have you done this to us? Your father and I have been looking for you with great anxiety. And he said to them, Why were you looking for me? Did you not know that I must be in my father's house? But they did not understand what he said to them. He went down with them and came to Nazareth and was obedient to them. And his mother kept all these things in her heart. And Jesus advanced in wisdom and age and favor before God and man. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Yesterday, we celebrated the Sacred Heart of Jesus, and today, the Immaculate Heart of Mary. And people would commit the common mistake by saying they are the twin hearts. And theologically, it is not true because to consider someone twin, you must be born at the same time. You must be born at the same time. And, but the argument was the beating of the heart of Mary is the same with the beating of the heart of Jesus. Well, it does not make them twin hearts. But the devotion is the two hearts. The two hearts of Jesus and Mary. Which comes first? Which comes first? The answer is the Immaculate Heart. Even though Jesus was there before Mary was born, I mean, yes, but the humanity of Jesus depended on Mary because for God to be human, even though he is God, he has to be born of a woman. So the woman who bore him in her womb came ahead of him. That's why we all know this that Mary was immaculately conceived. And because of her immaculate conception, God has given her the grace with an immaculate heart. Malinis, walang dungis, walang bahid. That is what immaculate means. Malinis, walang dungis, walang bahid. Bakit mahalaga yun? Bakit mahalaga? Sapagkat kahit gano'ng kasarap ang pagkain, pag inilagay mo sa maduming pinggan, hindi mo nakakainin. Mahalaga yon na ang pinaglalagyan ng anumang maganda, anumang mabuti, anumang masarap, ay dapat malinis. 
was the sacredness of the sacred heart of Jesus depend on the Immaculate Heart of Mary? No, of course. But because of the Immaculate Heart, the sacredness of, Jesus, of the Sacred Heart of Jesus remains and protected. My dear friends, my brothers and sisters, if you look at the celebration yesterday, you all know that every one of us has a heart. But not all hearts are sacred. It means not all heart are holy. Not all heart are holy. But why it is important to celebrate the Immaculate Heart of Mary? As I have said many times, when God speaks of relationship about intimacy, God always uses the image of mother and child. Now the burden of proof the burden is not about Mary and Jesus. The burden is between you mothers and your children. That's the burden. The burden is between you mothers and your children. Why? Why? Because the beating of the heart of your children, of your, of your child, at the very moment, at the very moment that he or she is given life by God, it beats with your heart. Nakakalimutan ito ng maraming ina na ang saya ng maraming anak ay kinuha sa ina at ang maraming dusa at lungkot ng anak kinuha din sa ina. Ngunit ilan ang mga inang nakakaalam na ang pagdadalang tao ng kanilang mga anak sa kanilang mga anak ay nagdudulot ito ng bukas. Kaya nga, pag ang ina nung siya ay nagdadalang tao, nagbubuntis, siya ay maligalig, marami siyang problema, kadalasan ng anak ay maligalig din. Kung ang ina ay masayahin nung siya ay nagdadalang tao, ang mga anak ay ano? Maayos din ang buhay. Maganda rin ang pananaw. Saan nila naku nakuha yun? Because the emotion of the mothers, the emotion of the mother, whether you like it or not, prepare the child before he or she comes out to this world. Kaya nga mahalaga na ang mga ina sa kanilang pagbubuntis ay inaalagaan ng kanilang mga sarili, ang kanilang mga pag-iisip, ang kanilang mga puso, hindi lamang para sa kanilang sarili, kundi para sa kanilang mga anak. I remember a priest before he was about to be ordained. And of course, part of the seminary program, we undergo a lot of psychological programs. And these seminarians, seminarians was so distrustful to everyone. Sabi nga ng formators, hindi ito magiging pari. Hindi ito magiging pari. Kasi paano ka magiging pari na hindi ka marunong magtiwala sa ibang tao? Prinoseso ito. Dumaan ito sa maraming proseso. And one time, one time, in one of the sessions, it was revealed to him that he saw himself with someone in the womb of, her, of his mother. So he was asked to ask his mother, do you have a twin? Do you have a twin? Of course, he was afraid to ask because he did not come out with somebody who died. But he took the courage to ask his mother, Ma, 
ako ba ay may kakambal nung ako'y iyong binubuntis. In the mother's sub, in the mother's sub, sabing so, sabi nga ay talagang grabe ang pag-iyak. And then in the seminary, and I why? Anong nangyari? And the mother made a confession na nung siya'y binubuntis, nung siya'y binubuntis, binalak ng nanay na sila'y ilaglag. Pero hindi alam ng ina na sila'y kambal. Nung nalaglag ang isa, akala ng nanay, iyon na yun. May naiwan palang isa. May naiwan. Why there is a distrust? Because can you imagine a person where all my vulnerability is being put into her hands wanted to kill me. Alam po ninyo, mga minamahala mga kapatid, marami tayong problema sa mundong ito na dahil nakaugat lamang sa pagbubuntis o pagpapalaki ng kanila mga ina sa kanila mga anak. You asked it. Maybe one or two or some of your problems or of, of your struggles in life is brought about by how you are, you were in the womb of your mother and you and how you were raised in this world. Kaya nga mahalaga yun eh. Mahalaga ng isang ina ay mayroong isang malinis, walang bahid, walang dungis na puso at kalooban. Itanong po ninyo, sapagat may mga problema na sadyang hindi kayang lutasin sa pagkukunwari na wala naman akong ginawang mali. What is the first reading trying to tell us? To rejoice heartily. Hindi lang ako'y masaya, kundi masayang masaya. Dahil naintindihan ko ang paghahanda ng Diyos bago pa ako dumating sa mundong ito. Mga minamahal na mga kapatid, hindi madali na meron kang Diyos sa iyong buhay. Sabi nga ni Maria, bakit mo ito ginawa? Bakit mo ito ginagawa sa amin? Sapagkat sadyang ang Diyos ay dumating. ano sabi ng Diyos nung siya bago ipako? Because I am making all things new. You want Jesus in your life? You must be willing to embrace the many inconvenience so that God can make all things new in your life. Be merry. Be like Mary. Sabi, nga, sabi ko nga sa inyo, ang mas mahalaga talaga ay puso kaysa sa utak. Hindi ko naman sinasabing huwag kang mag-iisip. Marami rin problema ang dinulot ng mga taong hindi nag-iisip. Pero makakapasok ka sa langit, hindi dahil ikaw ay matalino, kundi dahil malinis ang iyong puso. Hindi ibig sabihin hindi ka nagkakamali. Hindi ibig sabihin na intindihan mo lahat. Pero huwag mong kakalimutan mga kapatid na ikaw, ako, ay makakapasok sa pinto ng langit hindi sa talino ng isip kundi sa linis ng puso. Amen. Let's rise. Yesterday, we had communion outside the Mass. Ten o'clock in the morning until 11 people came and it was not that really I mean problematic ano pa? I don't think we can we can be accused of social gathering wala naman ano pa? so today again those who are listening we will have a communion 
10 o'clock to 11. Tomorrow, Sunday, you can come again to receive communion at 10 o'clock to 11. Hindi pa po bukas ang simbahan para sa misa, but at least you can come for communion. You continue to listen on our online masses. Ano pa? And as we understand more on how we can do this better, I will make an announcement. Ano? But at least, ano po, to na, today, tomorrow, we can, you can come to Santa Maria Great and receive communion. Second, we, we plan to do this and uh, for the many questions being asked, sabi ko nga sa inyo, ibang tanong naman worth answering in online because I believe you are not the only one asking for it. Kanina, I mean kagabi, ang tanong ay, Padre, ano masasabi mo sa chain letters? Chain letters. Ang sagot po doon ay, wag ho kayo maniwala diyang kalokohan yan. Ano po? Don't believe on a chain letters. Ano po? Disregard them. Throw them away. Ha? Dati, talagang sulat eh. Ngayon, messages. If you send this to 10 people, you will receive the number from Lotto to win. Kalokohan yan. Ano pa? Wag ko kayo maniniwala dyan sa chain letters. Ano pa? Don't entertain the thought that there are cheap graces. Ano? Didinggin ka ng Diyos ay eh, mga panalangin sa pag-forward lang ng message. Hindi naman ganun kababaw ang Diyos. Ano pa? Wag ko kayo maniniwala dyan. Pag sinabing, pag hindi mo ito pinasa, may mangyayari hindi maganda sa iyo. Lalo nang huwag mong ipapasa yan. Ano pa? Nananakot pa. Hindi po ba? Ano? So, chain letters are not true. Sa lunis, magsisimula tayo. After the mass, we will dedicate 10, 10 to 15 minutes lang answering questions that being forwarded or being sent to me. You can send the question to my personal FB messenger or in Santa Maria Goretti Live or Santa Maria Goretti fan page. Ano pa? Magtanong. Ano pa? Magtanong. Ha? Pero piliin nyo naman ang tanong. Ano pa? Huwag naman yung wala akong kinalaman. Ba't ganun ang mukha ng tatay ko? Malay ko. Hindi ko po alam. Ano po? Yung pwede ko lang sagutin. Ano po? Ano nga ba? Nawala tuloy ako. Going back to what I've said earlier. The heart, the heart of the mother influence the heart of their children. Humanly speaking, the heart of the mother influence the heart of their children. But the Immaculate Heart was not able, was not the one who influenced the Sacred Heart. It was the other way around. It was the Sacred Heart of Jesus that influenced the Immaculate Heart. Sabi ko nga, we become what we eat. But when we receive communion, the communion we receive is the one who transforms us. Hindi pa ako pari. At hindi ko kailangan maging pari para ipahayag sa inyo ito. Ang katotohanan na ano? That through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, the mother of your son, no petition may go unanswered, no request be made in vain. Huwag niyong kakalimutan yan. Mga minamahal, mga kapatid, walang sino mang dumudulog sa mahal na birhen na umuwi ng kanyang mga panalangin na hindi nadidinig, ng kanyang mga hinaing ay may uwi lang kung saan. I'm saying this not because I am a priest, but this is the reality. You can never love Jesus without loving his mother. 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you.